Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allie. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a like if it helps you out. So I'm a home business owner and let's just be really honest, you guys. Working from home can be really hard and that's something I never really anticipated but it really hit me hard when I went full-time with my business so today I'm going to share my five tips on how you can manage your home business and how to create some really good habits so tip number one is to get a planner and schedule it out regardless of how many hours a week that you put into your business you obviously have a life outside of your business and having a planner is going to help you get all of that together planners do what they're supposed to do they help you organize your business your personal life and whatever else you have going on when you have your planner this is especially useful if you are part-time in your business you'll be able to schedule out when you have time for your business or whatever else that you have going on so write your planner when you're actually going to work your business and try to stick to those times the best you can tip number two is prioritizing what are the things you need to get done and what things are the most important I like to make my daily to-do list the night before and then when I wake up that morning I star the three most important things and that really helps me prioritize and take some stress off of me because I know that those are the most important things and if I get all three of those things done then I'm good for the day and I do what I can with the time that I have left on the rest of my to-do list. Tip number three is to do power hours and take breaks. I know I can easily get burned out if I spend hours a day just continuously working, so power hours and breaks really, really help me with that. So the term power hours I kind of got from my Plexus people, so shout out to you if you do Plexus. Power hours are awesome. So what I do in my power hours is I will pick a task or a few tasks that are really important to me in my business that I know I need to get done daily and I set a timer. Sometimes I do power half hours, sometimes I do power full hours and I just get to work. Before I click start on the timer, I go to the bathroom, grab water, get a snack, whatever I need to do so that for that full hour or that full 30 minutes, I can just get work done. And then at the end of that hour, I take five to 10 minutes to take a break, recharge, run to the bathroom, get another snack or whatever I need to feel recharged. And sometimes my breaks also are my lunch breaks. I personally have a really hard time stopping what I'm doing unless I schedule in those breaks. So for me, my lunch is always at the same time and I stop, go have lunch, relax, and then I come back 30 minutes or an hour later really recharged and ready to do more work for my business. Step number four is to know when to stop and set boundaries. If you're like me and super passionate about your business, it might be really hard for you to stop once you start. For me, I kind of get sucked into a perpetual cycle and a perpetual to-do list and I just keep on going. And not only is that not good for you and your mental health, that's also not good for the people around you. So for me, it's helpful if I set a time to stop. Business hours work for some people, they don't work for others, especially if your business is part-time and you kind of do it in between whatever else you have going on. Like if you're a student, you might be working your business throughout classes. If you're a mom, it might be at nap time for your kids. So if that's the case, business hours might be hard for you to set and stick to. But what can be helpful for you is just setting that end time instead of the start time and the end time. Whether that's 5 p.m., 8 p.m., whatever the time is for you, when you set that end time, it gives you the relaxation, the permission for yourself to just let go of your business stuff and work on your personal life or whatever else you have to get done that day. And it also benefits your friends and your family, the people that you're around, because you don't want to be a business owner that only does business stuff. You also want to have a life. If you're a business owner, time freedom is obviously important to you and that's the ultimate goal. Although sometimes you're gonna have to put in more time, you also have to set the boundaries for yourself so you can have a healthy mind and spend time with the people around you. And lastly, step number five is to make time for yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, there's always an ongoing to-do list in my head and it's really hard for me to stop. So because of that, sometimes I put myself last and that's happened to me a lot in the past year as I've been more serious about my business and I can definitely tell the effects on my mental health as well as my business. I can see my business declining when I'm not taking care of myself. For me, not putting myself first sometimes looks like skipping workouts, sleeping less, forgetting to eat lunch, whatever it is. Working hard is admirable, but you also have to take care of yourself. Getting less sleep or not going to the gym for two weeks might be a season that you need to go through in your business and work harder, but 
in the long term, making a schedule for yourself and really making time for yourself, whether it's a few minutes a day, one set day a week is so important because cutting out all those essential things that make you feel whole and healthy is not sustainable long term. So for me, I have to actually schedule in me time because I am so passionate about my business and it's hard for me to stop. So I schedule in time for me to just relax and take breaks. I schedule in time for me to wake up earlier and do a morning routine and to stop at night and do my night routine. In the mornings, I actually get up an hour earlier so I have that time to myself and I'm not rushing my way through my morning. I also do that at night. Once I have my cutoff time and I'm done working for the day, I spend some time on myself, personal development, and all that stuff because it's important to me. Also, Sunday nights are my me time, so I take a bath, relax, read a good book, and that's something that helps me feel whole and fills my cup so that I can fill the cups of the people that are on my team and really, really feel fulfilled enough to fulfill myself and my business. So figure out what that me time can be for you and schedule it in. Just do it because it's so important. If you're super bogged down with a lot of stuff and this is something that you're really, really missing, start with one thing a day or one day a week where you take an hour to do this because it's going to make such a difference and gradually you can start to incorporate more of it into your daily routine. So that's it for my tips. I hope this benefited you in some way. If there's someone you know that you think could benefit from this, make sure you share the video with them. Remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and to subscribe down below for more videos. I upload here once a week and I also upload on my blog channel a few times a week, which is linked in the description box below. You are doing great in your business. Remember to be gentle with yourself and just do the best you can every single day. If I missed any tips, make sure you comment them down below like I said in my last video, I want this to be an environment and a community where we can learn from each other and I'm sure there's tons of tips that could help me so make sure if you guys have any you comment them because I would love to see them. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!